This record is an appreciation to a very great player who is now in his testimonial year. And the expressions come from the players who knew him best. There is no order of priority in introducing these players, but possibly the first player that Tom grew to knew and who Tom played with and relied upon. Let me introduce Dougie Greeno. Well, when I first met Tom Wallen Alden, I was at work at Triplex. And Jim Sullivan sent for me, the coach. And he said, I've got a new wingman for you, Doug. Oh, I said, very good, Jim. Because we need one. Where's he from? He said, South Africa. All right, so we'll go on and get stripped. Then he's waiting for you outside on the field. So I went out, and when I met him, in his hand, he had a coconut and a banana. So I said, uh, how do you do? And he said, hug. I said, uh, I said to Jim Sullivan, I said, what does that mean, Jim? He said, I said, I don't know. He said, he, he doesn't speak English. So anyway, he brought the ball on, Jim. It was one of these white balls. What we used to play with in them days. Well, Tom didn't know what it was. So he said, we'll have to train with the coconut. So anyway, we had a training and stuck with this coconut. And on the Saturday, Jim said, uh, his coach said, well, we can't play with the coconut today. We'll have to play with the proper ball. So anyway, we played, and this fellow had a terrible game, this Volnoven, to the last seconds of the, of the game. And Jim Sullivan passed his coconut on to me, and I passed it to Volnoven, and he scored a 60-yard brilliant try. And that was how we went back to the brown ball. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, this man is the greatest swimmer I've ever seen. Always a St Helens player, but now, coach at Lee, let me introduce Alex Murphy. Well, all I would like to say about Tom Van Vallenhoven, when he arrived in this country, I don't think the St Helens public, or the world in general, knew how great a player this fellow was going to turn out to be. In my opinion, I think he's the greatest defensive and attacking wingman that the game has ever saw. I think that he's a great fella on and off the field and I think he's well liked with opposition all over the world. I think it's impossible to say how many tries, good tries, this fella's scored. He scored so many and it would be just wrong to say he's done this and he's done that. I think that Tommy has done everything for St Helens and I hope that he gets a bumper testimonial which he deserves and I wish him the very best of luck. Yet another former St Helens captain, a household <coughs> name in rugby league, Alan Prescott. Well I probably know Tom better than any player who's playing the game and I've been associated with him now for 10 to 11 years. Um, a truly great player and probably the finest import to ever come to this game in rugby league. Uh, lots have been said about Tommy in the past and lots will be said in the future. Great player, many tries have been scored, many great, great tries such as Wembley and championship finals etc. And many people have come to Tommy and tell him how good these tries are and how well he's played. And Tommy has always struck me as being probably the most modest player in rugby league without question. Uh, lots of people, when they attain the status of as Tommy standards, try to get a little bit big-headed, etc. But Tommy has never done this, never in the associations I've been with him. And this is a great attribute to him. Uh, also, his fairness to the game, he's been provoked many, many, many times, and I've yet, never yet, to see him strike a man back. A truly great credit to him and his family, and I wish them all the very, very best of luck when they go back home. You don't introduce him. You just say, Vent Corellius. Tom Vol. The name's enough. The greatest winger in the world. And I've seen them all. Which was his finest try? Was it at Wembley? A brilliant 70 yarder. Was it at Bradford against Hundlet in the championship final when he practically came from his own line and beat 10 men at a very vital part of the game? Was it any of his tries against Wigan in those grand derby clashes? 
It will always be an argument. For me, however, his greatest try must be the Wembley try. Because that is the greatest victory of all. And in that day in particular, I was the captain. So to Tom, from me, it must be a very, very big thanks, Tom. Thanks a million and the very best of luck in the world. If and when Tom van Vallenhoven goes back to South Africa, part of us in St Helens will go with him. Let me introduce yet another St Helens skipper, Tom van Vallenhoven. To thank everyone in the rugby league, and St Helens especially, for the consideration and kindness that has been shown to my wife, my family and myself would easily fill a long playing record. I would like to say thank you to the fans who have given me such wonderful support and encouragement over the past 10 years. These are memories that I will cherish for the rest of my life. I would like to give a special thank you to the great Jim Sullivan, who on my introduction to rugby league nursed me and gave me sound advice as only he can. Thank you, Jim. I would like to thank also the club chairman and his fellow directors, the club secretary, the chairman and committee of the St. Helens Social Club, and last, but by no means least, I would like to thank the St. Helens players, both past and present, for the wonderful support they have given me, both on and off the field. To St. Helens Rugby League Club and to everyone in St. Helens, I say quite sincerely, thank you.